Et bonjour mes amis, and welcome to another Adventure in French. Today's adventure, demonstrative adjectives. Yeah, you heard me right. What does that mean? Well, very simply put, it's how you say this or that, or these or those. Those are the demonstrative adjectives. All right? Now, because they're adjectives, remember that in French, those adjectives must agree in gender and number with the nouns they modify. Therefore, you're going to have a masculine singular form, a feminine singular form, a masculine plural form, and a feminine plural form. All right. The good news is these adjectives come before the nouns. And we always like that because it's just like English. So let's get started with this. And if you want to say this or that, and your noun is a masculine singular noun, you will use the word s. s. If your noun is a feminine singular noun, you will use the demonstrative adjective set. Now, here's some more good news. In the plural, masculine and feminine use the same form. So once you get to the, the plural, you don't have to worry about whether it's masculine or feminine because they both use the word say. So we have se, set, say. Now remember, demonstrative adjectives mean this or that. And in French, that is true. They can mean either one. In English, we love to make the distinction between this and that. But you see, the French don't really think like that. They don't make that distinction nearly as often as we do. So you usually tell from the context whether or not you mean this or that. And so you just have to remember, it can mean both. All right? So again, that's se, that can mean this or that. Set, which can mean this or that. Or the plural, se, which can mean these or those. All right? Three small forms, very easy to remember. They all start with CE. All right? Se, set, se. Now you'll notice I've got a little asterisk here next to the masculine singular form se. And that is because of this. Whenever you have a masculine singular noun, oh look, it's right here. Before you have before a masculine singular noun that begins with a vowel or well, you don't need to say silent H, because in French they're always silent. So we'll just say H. When you have a masculine singular noun that begins with a vowel or H, you're going to use a special form. All right, you're going to use the form C-E-T, set. All right, now I know. That sounds like the feminine form, but as you can see, it's spelled differently. It just has one T on the end. And here's the reason we do that. We have a word like imperméable, which means raincoat. If I wanted to say this or that raincoat, and I use this masculine singular form here, it would come out ce imperméable. And we know the French don't like those two vowel sounds coming together. It's not smooth enough. And we know the French, they want it to sound good. So what do they do? They invent this special form that will allow uh, the sounds to flow together. And that is why we use set. And now you see, I say instead of saying ce imperméable, I say set imperméable. And it just flows beautifully. All right. Again, this is a special form only for masculine singular nouns that begin with a vowel or an H. All right. So let's try some of these out. I want to say this or that coat. Well, OK, then I guess I better change my words here. Because as we know, coat is manteau. And if I want to say shoe, I better say chaussure. Ah, much better. All right, I want to say this or that coat. All right, coat is masculine, singular. So I'm going to use my masculine singular form. And I'm going to say, ce manteau, ce manteau, which can mean this coat or that coat. 
All right, I want to say this or that shoe. Chaussure, feminine, singular. So I will use C E T T E, set. And now I have set chaussure. All right, now let's do some plurals. I want to say these or those skirts. All right, well, I know that skirts are feminine, plural. Oh, that's right, it's plural, so I don't have to worry about masculine or feminine. It's going to be, whoops, say, say jupe, these or those skirts. And likewise, for these or those blouses, I don't have to know if it's masculine or feminine. I happen to know it's masculine, but it wouldn't matter because it's plural, so I would use say, say chemisier these or those blouses. All right. Now, say there's a time when you just absolutely, absolutely have to make the distinction between this or that in order to clear up confusion. All right? Well, the French have a way to do that. Again, they use it not as often as we do in English, of course. Um, but when you just absolutely have to make that distinction for clarity, you can do it. And here's how. You use suffixes onto the nouns. Yeah, you heard me right. Suffixes. And here's how. If you want to emphasize this or these, this for the singular, these for the plural, you use the suffix hyphen ci, which is c. If you want to emphasize that or those, you would use the suffix hyphen l a la and notice that the a does have an accent grave over it all right now how does that work well, let me show you all right say i want to emphasize that it is this coat all right this coat Absolutely want you to know it's different from that coat, this coat. All right. I simply use my suffix to emphasize this, which would be C, and I put it on the end of manteau, and there you go. Ce manteau C means this coat. All right. Likewise, if I wanted to say that shoe as opposed to this shoe, I absolutely want to make sure you know it is that one. Then I'm going to use my suffix la. Cette chaussure la. That shoe. All right, and you can use these also in the plural. Say I wanted to emphasize these skirts as opposed to those skirts. All right. I'm emphasizing these. Let me bold that so you know I'm emphasizing it. All right. Again, if I want to emphasize these, I'm going to use C. So I just add my C. Say jupe C, these skirts. And then likewise, if I wanted to emphasize those blouses. All right. I would use my suffix L A, accent grave, say chemisier la, those blouses. So by using the suffixes C and la, I can, if I need to, emphasize this from that, these from those. All right? A little different way than we do in English, but it does work. All right, and that really, that's all there are to demonstrative adjectives. How you say this, that, these, and those. And this lesson, well, you're right, it's over. So I will see you again for another adventure in French very soon. Au revoir, mes amis.